Today, I want to talk about something that a subscriber brought to my attention, which is another strategic partnership for Palantir. Now, I know I've been talking a lot about what I am concerned about for Palantir recently with the capital structure, with their shelf offering. I'm just trying to be honest and share my thoughts and opinions on the recent news. I've not lost any conviction in Palantir, and frankly, the stuff I'm talking about, I don't entirely care about. I don't invest in a company based on its capital structure, but I do want to know more about it since Palantir is such a large holding of mine. So with that out of the way, I want to thank Servando for the information and we will get started. So this is another SPAC that PLTR is connected to. It's called Rigetti Computing. Describes itself as a leader in full stack quantum computing. Now we know that ARK Invest, love him or hate him, is very interested in quantum computing. But here Servando points out that it is sort of a perpetual future where it always seems 10 years away. Maybe this is closer than Kathy and ARK realizes if this technology is real. For the past 80 years, all computers have worked basically the same way, a series of electrical circuits switching between off and on, zero and one. But that could be about to change. Quantum computing would enable exponential jumps in computing power, turning the entire industry on its head. And according to Microsoft's research lab, it could happen in the next 10 years. Where a conventional computer uses electrical circuits as bits, a quantum computer runs on quantum bits or qubits, tiny particles magnetically suspended in extreme cold, just fractions of a degree above absolute zero. The idea is to keep each qubit in a state of superposition, so it's simultaneously a one and a zero. That allows for something researchers call a quantum speedup. With the speedup, each qubit increases computing power exponentially. With enough qubits, that power starts to go really fast. It won't help much if you just want to check your email, but it lets researchers tackle complex problems like weather prediction or materials analysis that are still really difficult with conventional computing. Google and Microsoft are particularly interested. They've both formed quantum labs, hiring away a lot of the top scientists working on quantum computing. But that speedup isn't happening yet, or at least we haven't seen proof of it. A company called D-Wave is already making and selling quantum computers to different labs, including Google's quantum AI lab. But a lot of researchers say the computers can't actually demonstrate a quantum speedup. That means it is a quantum computer, but it's not good at any of the things we want quantum computers to be good at. Of course, D-Wave disagrees, but it's really hard to say who's right. It's one of the weirdest things about quantum computing. It might already be here, and we just don't know it yet. And this is something I love about Palantir's strategy, something we didn't even know when they went DPO, and something that maybe is part of their broader opportunity for capturing value, creating value, and becoming one of the most important software companies in the world with its software platforms as a backbone and being a hedge fund for these up-and-coming technologies. All that to say, this is a SPAC that they're involved in because nothing is guaranteed here, but the technology is promising. And if it pans out, being involved is a huge deal. So here we go. Here is the press release that they put out, Rigetti and the new strategic partnership. Palantir, it does not seem, is actually involved in the funding round or the pipe at all. More just a strategic partner. So let's move on to some other information. Here's their website. I'll show you that video in a second, but they've announced they're merging with Supernova Partners Acquisition Company 2. So I'll share some more of my thoughts, but here's a quick video that I think does a good job of explaining what this company is all about. Here it is. At Rigetti, our mission is simple. Build quantum computers that have the power to change the world. Machines that can help tackle climate change, accelerate the development of cures for previously untreatable diseases, and reduce financial risks to enhance global prosperity for everyone. Problems that would take even the most advanced classical computers decades to solve could one day be solved in seconds. How? Instead of being restrained by bits and bytes, our quantum computers harness quantum mechanics, the same rules that govern the building blocks of nature, to exponentially reduce the time and energy needed for high-impact computing. Sound too good to be true? It used to be. But in 2013, visionary founder Chad Rigetti developed an approach that could accelerate the creation of practical quantum computers and their application to solve real-world problems. He launched the world's first company focused exclusively on gate model quantum computing. And Rigetti Computing was born. Since then, Rigetti's world-class scientists and engineers have pioneered many of the technologies needed to make practical quantum computing a reality. Building the world's first captive quantum chip foundry, inventing the hybrid quantum classical infrastructure to run real-world applications, 
launching a publicly available quantum cloud services platform and demonstrating the first chemically accurate simulation on a cloud quantum computer. We've been on the leading edge from the beginning. And now, after eight years of focused innovation, Rigetti is launching the world's first multi-chip quantum processor. This proprietary technology solves key scaling challenges and is poised to deliver a quantum advantage over today's high-performance computers. Industry leaders and governments around the world have recognized Rigetti's leadership and the significant potential of quantum computing. They're choosing to deeply partner with Rigetti to develop better, faster, and more cost-effective solutions to the most important computational challenges. Today, we're on the brink of positive, transformational change that only quantum computing can bring. The future is here, and it's powered by Rigetti. Okay, I thought that video was pretty good. Of course, all of this is going to be very abstract, and that's why Palantir is putting their eggs in different baskets here with these SPAC investments. Not all of these are going to succeed. Very few of them are likely going to succeed. But here's what I like about Rigetti. And no, I would not buy their SPAC or their stock. I will trust Palantir to diversify, and I will hold what little indirectly I can, because I'm more betting on Palantir here. So you'll see, new strategic partners are Palantir Technologies on the list. So again, Palantir has done a strategic partnership, actually many in the past, where they've taken an equity stake through the pipe transaction, but it does not appear they have done that here because I believe it would have needed to be disclosed. But regardless, this is another day zero company, as they call them, working on pioneering full stack quantum computing. And they are working very hard on, the sc on scaling their technology because that's been one of the largest hurdles as they put it. They're making good progress there. So they're trying to take advantage of the SPAC movement, get in while it's hot, although it's not that, it's not quite hot right now, but I'm just saying the movement movement as a whole over the last year. So think quantum. I'm very excited to see how this plays out. I think as you heard from the video, there are certainly ways that Palantir can actually benefit this company in the ways that their operating system for the modern enterprise actually functions as the way they market it. I don't know anything technical per se about quantum computing, but I do know that they're working with AWS here. So perhaps that's part of the partnership as a distribution channel, because we know Palantir is partnered with Amazon for distributing on the Amazon Web Services platform. But anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video to get this news out here. I think it's very interesting. I couldn't find any other references to Palantir, but I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a press release from Palantir in the near future about what this means unless they are waiting for something else to come up before they do that. So this seems like a very interesting company. I'll have to follow them as I try, as I try and do with the other Palantir SPACs. So let me know what your thoughts are on quantum computing, if this is something that Palantir should actually choose to invest in or just partner alongside. So what are your thoughts? Until next time.